Round one, scheduled for five for the Strike Force World Welterweight title. Nick Diaz, the champion in white and black. Daily, the challenger in blue. Great body work by Diaz. Oh, a beautiful uppercut. Looping right hand. Daily falling is in trouble. 11 seconds. Diaz going in for the kill. And it's over. Wow! Diaz has made history. Nick Diaz finishing Daly. There's a spinning hook hit by Cyborg. And there is the first takedown of the fight. A trip takedown by Cyborg. He is also a BJ. Sure, but Jens Paul was five foot seven. A great point. Nick Diaz is a very tall guy, and I I'm very impressed with his striking. He looks very calm in there, too. And again, that could be because he's got experience. Why did I say that? Diaz is going Short punches really landed for Diaz. He hits him with a right look. Nice feeling. He's Put it together. Oh my goodness. Denny in trouble. Diaz punches in bunches. Left hand sits. Get it out. Pop round. Pop. And it's over. And the eruption begins. Wow. They're as good as a lot of professional boxers oh. out there at the top of their game. Shamrock's in trouble. 133 to go. He's, he's got nothing. Here comes. in the mouth. On the ground. Diaz moving in. The living legend goes down with a body shot. Ground and pound. Hey. Diaz loading up. Shamrock in trouble. The legend may come to an end. Right here, Nick Diaz continuing. And it's over. Wow. The young lion. And look at this. Awesome here. Diaz helping Frank Shamrock up. Tremendous. Right. Zorowskis is trying to get his way through, but he's losing the boxing match, hoping for the hammer of four to drop again. Well, Diaz has worked boxing with the likes of Andre Ward. Oh, uppercut! And that jack to John Zorowskis! A oh, big body shot there. Diaz crushing Diaz. that body shot. And he's looking for more right here. Middle at the body. Looking Diaz. like Andre Ward. Looking like he may even belong in that Showtime Super 6 tournament. Unbelievable boxing skills here by Diaz. Zorowski's legs are gone. They're absolutely wild. If he continues this strategy, it's just a matter of time. Oh, my piece is gone. And the left there the combination. Down to his own Ishii. And it is all over. It is all over. Nick Diaz, wow. without a doubt, Nick wins Diaz. by knockout. Diaz. You know, with the paces, you said, though, Joe, you brought up a, a, an interesting point. You said that Diaz isn't throwing at 120%, if you will. That allows him to use the speed punches and technique and also not gas himself out it because he has kept up a very good pace. Yeah, it also allows him to throw many, many punches. He's got a guillotine, a standing guillotine on Nick Diaz right now. It's going to be very tough to tap out a guy like Nick Diaz, though. Nick's going to push him against the fence. Scoop him up, boom, now he's got him down. In fact, even though he's been defeated four times in the UFC, Diaz has never truly been stopped. He's always lost by decision. Well, not only that, but those defeats, all those fights, that's invaluable experience that he's gained against top flight competition like Sean Shirk and you know Robbie Lawler and all the guys that he's fought. I mean, he's fought so many good guys in the UFC. Just hit his last fight alone, the fight, excuse me, the fight before that against uh, Diego Sanchez. I mean, that's that's invaluable experience. He's got a Kimura. He's got it. He's got a twist. He's in the perfect position. If he throws his leg over Josh Near's head, Josh is in big trouble. Look for that left knee. Trying See to it over do the it. head. He's got it over there. 
He's twisted it back. And it's all over. And it's all over. Nick Diaz with the Gamora. He finishes off. Very impressive victory by Nick Diaz. That's the Nick Diaz. That was truly a contender, a matter of fight to go. That whole bottom part of his body is completely ineffective. And all he can do is try to pay down with his arms. Here Nick Diaz had, has head and arm control. He's in a side position. He's going to get that knee to his stomach to try to slide over into the mouth. The former white guard, Jeremy Jackson. Uh-oh, he's got a guillotine. He's got a guillotine. He's going to try to get a guard here. If he gets in the guard, nope. Popped out. Again, Jackson able to avoid a submission attempt. Nick Diaz took a chance right there, and in taking that chance, he gave up that position, and now Jeremy Jackson's on top of him. He's going to throw some bombs. Jackson fell in love after his brother rented UFC 4 back in 1997. Uh-oh, Armbar. He's got it. He got it. It's nice. It's all over just like that. Just Nick like that. Diaz by submission. Again, looking to work that far side arm, but against the cage again. He wants to move him if he's looking to do anything in terms of a submission. Active on the bottom is Corbray. The Diaz now on his feet. One minute, 25 seconds left in the fight. Again, back to cross-side position. Nick Diaz now right into the mouth. Well done. Very he's good. Saying, that trick. Went for the Kimura. He's he's saying, he's he he back very good position. Went for the former. Very good position. Let's and now elbow strikes. Very it's a night of elbows here in Hawaii. Round and pound, one on one from Whoop. Nick Diaz. Got a minute left. And the fight has been stopped. Nick Diaz records the win over Mustin Corbray. A lot of times you see a guy on top with his, uh, you know, when, when he's in a guard, he has a hard time landing really good hard shots. But Nick's really turning those punches over. Well, a decisive first but round being dominated so far by 21-year-old Nick Diaz. Good ground and pound by Diaz, and he's gonna use this opportunity to pass the guard, I guarantee it. Landed a good right in another. Combinations, Pickett just trying to cover up. 35 seconds remains in round one. McCarthy right on top of the action. And what we're seeing right here is a difference between a grappling match and a mixed martial arts match. Oh, he's in a bad spot here. He's Joe. taking some shots. Spins out of it, and it's all Big over. Big job, and it's all steps over. in and stops Nick it. Nick Diaz, and he wow. shakes the hand of his opponent immediately. Wow. And Nick Diaz, victorious as Drew Pickett. That strong hand lead, too. Let's see if that comes out of Nick Diaz here. Combination. Started with the left, finished with the straight right. Back in that half guard. A and half he, shot by T-Bow yep. and, and a cow catcher kind of mowing T-Bow over is Nick Diaz. Diaz trying to work his way back into that posture position to land those shots with those long arms. And right back to it. Again, he's got, he's got that right leg postured as you talked about, Randy. So it's not truly a half guard. He's actually anchoring his opponent down with that right knee. It's called a knee ride. Right he's knee ride. It's almost right a half right mount. He's, he's, it's a knee mount or knee ride position. Knee ride may be the end of the ride for Blaise and Tebow. Nick landing some good shots here. Start thinking about getting out of this position to find a way to change this. Got the knee right again, Randy. Referee's right on it. Rabbit punches by Diaz if you put a little more on those. Not much Glayson t is able to do in this position. He is going to have to improve or he will be defeated. 